more than 30 years, the last weekend of July was reserved for the Berkeley Kite Festival that drew thousands of spectators, but a lack of funds is ending the annual tradition. KPEX 5's John Ramos reports that nobody's very happy about it. They announced that the kite festival was canceled, but that didn't stop kite flyers and kite watchers from coming out to pay respects to an event that has meant so much to so many people over the years. In 1986, as a young man, Tom McAllister loved kites so much, he opened a mobile kite store in the parking lot of Cesar Chavez Park next to the Berkeley Marina. And I thought if I'm going to try to make a living sharing my passion for kites, being a retailer selling kites, then, then I needed to do something to give back to the community. What he gave back was the Berkeley Kite Festival. For the next 33 years, excluding the last two COVID years, McAllister has organized one of the largest urban kite festivals on the planet, drawing hundreds of kites and tens of thousands of spectators. But this year, the open meadow was nearly empty, and in the corner, a few dozen kites flapped in the breeze, an unofficial end to the event that McAllister devoted his life to create. It breaks my heart. It breaks my doggone heart. McAllister canceled the festival because the city more than tripled his permit fee to $45,000, which would have doubled the event's entire budget. The city told him they could no longer subsidize the gathering by providing services like law enforcement, firefighters, and custodians for free. But Beverly Griffith thinks that's short-sighted. This is what the people need. It's something beautiful like this to look at. We've been locked up for COVID for over, what, two years, three years? Seems like five. You know, I could walk out of here without a mask, you know? So, yeah, that's an excuse. Come on, Berkeley. Get it together. It jumped from 10,000 to 45,000. So 35,000 extra dollars is going to where exactly? Aaron Kakadze is upset that an event that was unique to Berkeley will end to save an amount of money that will barely be noticed in the city's budget. I'm disappointed because it was a family event. It was not just a family event, but it united the community and we'd all have the same like mind and we'd all get to share in the same joy and have these same memories. McAllister isn't just disappointed, he's hurt that the gift he has given for more than 30 years is now viewed as an expense rather than an asset to his community. I'm an older man now and I see the world differently and, and part of me is tired and, and doesn't want to fight the fight that, that a project like that represents. But, but a big part of me is sad, you know, sad to see that, that, uh, that, it, that, it, that it may go away forever, but also gratified to see all these folks out here today. In Berkeley, John Ramos, KPIX 5.